Suppose you are traveling in an open car. Just for fun, you throw an apple out of it. Now you can observe an intriguing phenomenon. After hitting the road, the apple suddenly starts to follow you. How do you explain this crazy behavior? Let's get into it. When you hold the apple inside the car, it feels like the apple is at rest. However, relative to the road, the apple is moving at the same speed as the car. When you throw the apple from the car, you are in fact giving it a velocity opposite to its initial velocity. This opposite velocity reduces the apple's net velocity. The apple still moves in a forward direction, but with a lower velocity than the car, which means the apple will slowly move away from the car. Even after hitting the road, the apple will continue to have a forward velocity. So the apple has a forward velocity before and after hitting the road. Why do we feel like the apple was moving backwards before it hit the road? Here comes the trick our brain plays. Until the apple hits the road, the brain analyzes the situation in reference to the car. By that frame of reference, the apple has a velocity opposite to the car, the initial velocity you gave it when you tossed it. So you feel like the apple is moving backward. However, after the apple hits the road, your brain analyzes the movement of the apple in reference to the ground. Here, obviously, the apple has a forward velocity, and you feel like the apple suddenly starts to follow you. In short, this interesting phenomenon happens because your brain changed its frame of reference between you tossing the apple and the apple hitting the ground. This example is just an introduction to the world of relative motion and reference frames. Welcome to this interesting world.